hoy en día ya no creo en el amor que la última vez. Welcome to Guatemala Ciudad, the Gotham City of Central America, as I call it. I think I came up with that name. My memory isn't always good. I was trying to remember where I uh, found that name, but um, I think I invented it. The Gotham City of Central America is um, it's pretty dodgy by reputation and even by looks, but it still looks pretty cool from what I've seen so far. Um, it's my third time in Guatemala City, but it's the first time that I come to properly visit. So we're in Zona Uno, Zone One. That's like the historic, uh, historical uh, district of Guatemala City. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, if you look at reviews on the internet, it's like the place to avoid in Guatemala. But it's actually not that bad. Um, sure, the crime rate is higher and it looks dodgy and we're in a poor country, one of the poorest countries of Latin, uh, Latin America. So do your research before you come here if you want to visit the city. Always do your research first, um, but look around, it's beautiful. So yeah, I believe this is the Palacio Nacional, National Palace, where there's like the National Library or something. Um, and here is a cathedral. And if I'm not mistaken, because I've watched videos and I've read uh, articles about this area, um, there's a memorial on the pillars of the, the cathedral. There's a memorial to all the victims of the, um, all the known victims of the civil war, which lasted for like 30 years in Guatemala, from 1960 to 1996, I believe there was a civil war. Um, I don't know much about the details. I think it involved like hunting communists or something. Um, as with many civil wars in Guatemala. Let's have a look at the, the pillars. Yeah, victimas de massacres. Victims of massacres. Um, I think it's pretty good that they, they made these. It's important to remember. Victimas torturadas, tortured victims. Let me show you guys. Look, this is like a whole family. Alvarado, Alvarado, Alvarado. It's very sad when you see entire families uh, disappearing like this. Look, oxum, 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 oxum. Um, yeah, because basically the theory as well, I don't know if it's a theory or I think it's quite official actually. The, um, the reason um, at some point was to kill communists and 
villages that were supposedly infected with communist ideas, okay? But the reality is that if you talk about like ethnically, like who got killed, it was predominantly like Maya. So there's um, this idea of a Mayan genocide. Uh, at some point during the civil war, I don't think it happened throughout the, the whole like 35 years, but um, uh, it was pretty much a racist thing. I haven't seen so many pigeons in a while. Uh, last time I came, transportation was quite quick. That's because I left earlier, I think during the morning, like 8 a.m. or something. Today, I went, I left home. My home is in Antigua. Um, and you have to know this Antigua is only like from here. It's only like maybe 20, 25 kilometers from here. Uh, but it took me like more than two hours to arrive here, the Palacio, at the Plaza uh, de la Constitución. That's what it's called, by the way, this place, the Plaza de la Constitución. So, um, transportation was testing my nerves, like the, there's bad traffic at the moment, anyway. So you have to keep this in mind. If you come with camioneta, but I'm pretty sure if you take a shuttle, a taxi, whatever. Trying to find the Mercado Central, the central market. Disculpe. Hola, ¿sabes dónde es el Mercado Central? La, atrás de la iglesia. Es la iglesia Parque Central. Y sí. atrás está el Mercado Central. Ah, ok, ok. Te va recto. Ok, gracias. Okay, so I have to go back to the church. Nice flag. Look, it's a vibe. Uh, not everyone will enjoy the city, but I think it's worth having a look. I wouldn't spend a whole week here. I wouldn't live here, but um, it's worth just going for a day or two, you know? The stuff to see, it's a big city, more than a million people. So obviously there's going to be museums, heaps of stuff. Uh, I saw somewhere on a forum, I think on Reddit or something, that it's like, uh, it's been in some like, um, how do you call it? In the top 10 or something. It's been put as the, the ugliest city. Like it's in the list, the top 10 of the ugliest uh, capital cities or cities in general, maybe in the world. Honestly, I don't believe it. Like, it's not Paris or London, uh, it's not even New York, but it's not that bad from what I've seen so far. So, it's good enough. That's the Mercado, I believe. Looks like it. Okay. Here is the food. It smells exotic, spicy, exciting. Super. So if I have a, I don't know if I have a bigger vegan or vegetarian audience, but uh, I don't really want to stay here anyway. Um, let's go back to the restaurants. No lo sé. No lo sé. 
¿Están uh, bananas o plátanos? No sé. Plátanos y bananas. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ok. Mira. ¿Te gusta reina? ¿Puedo pagar solo una banana? ¿Cuánto es? Un quetzal. Un quetzal por una banana. I'll buy a banana. I want to eat healthy. So these things I believe are called rellenitas. Basically put, you can add sugar on top. It's fried, maybe it's a fried potato. I'll ask. They put uh, frijoles, like beans, inside, but it's sugary, it's sweet. Hola. Este, ¿cómo se llama este? Rellenitas. Rellenitas, sí, sí. Y este es con... Son dobladas de picado de carne. De carne. ¿Cuánto es uno? 15 cada uno. 15. Ok, uno de este, por favor. Um, caliente, por favor. Sí. Gracias. I remember eating it at least twice as street food. It's good. And I put some like salsa picante. It's not bad. <clears throat> Now I don't know where I am exactly. But I like this city. It's actually nice. People are nice too. They see less tourists than in Antigua, so like really intrigued uh, to see a gringo. I didn't film every interaction I had, but uh, interesting because I was eating and stuff. Now I don't know where to go. Um, I know actually. I'll try to order a moto taxi. You have to be careful as well. If you decide to visit the capital just for one day, as I said before, you should leave as early as possible. <coughs> um, and on the way back, if you don't want to pay too much, if you don't want to pay for an Uber, um, you drive, uh, take the camioneta again. And, uh, but they don't run like 24-7. Uh, I think the last one is around 5 p.m. So I want to get back to Antigua before nightfall but right now it's it's 12:20, so that's fine anyway um, there's another area of the ciudad that i want to visit and it's in zona cuatro cuatro uh, the zone four so i'm gonna try to first get out of this parking lot um, I'll go another way from the market. Kind of like upscale, stylish, hipster. <laughs> I'm trying to find so many adjectives. But anyway, it's very nice. It's a pedestrian area. In Zona 4, Zone 4. And yeah, there's plenty of like upscale uh, restaurants and cafes. And nice street art as well. Um, So this is like a gentrification project, I guess, as we call it. Is that the name of the street? I'm not sure. Cuatro Norte, which is, which means uh, four north, north. Um, let's check out the the street out around the tienda. Yeah. Uh, it's not a tienda, it's a bar actually. 
check out the wall, it's pretty cool. Hola, disculpe. Bienvenido, sí. Bien, gracias. ¿Es gratis? Uh... Sí. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Pero, Adelante, pues... solo debes registrarte por eso. Ah, ok, gracias. Let's have a look. This one is the entrance is free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so that coffee was nice, but um, because it's an address I saw on the internet, like very specifically recommended in that area, that cafe, Buma. But uh, 21 quetzales for a cappuccino, even if it was pretty big. Very large cappuccino, but still 21 quetzales that's like three US dollars, uh, five Australian dollars. Um, that's a little too expensive. Sometimes in Guatemala, you can be surprised, you, you would be surprised about the prices. It's actually not as cheap as people often think it is. Well, especially in this area. This area looks like Price-wise, it looks more like um, Antigua. Check out the facade here. Some vintage shops. It's like the... It's like the hipster area, so nice area. And honestly, guys, you don't feel too unsafe, you know? You can see this crime because you see a lot of security guys with guns, which is a bit reassuring as well. Um, but I don't feel like, you know, other than checking your belongings, obviously, you're in a big city, so there might be pickpockets. I don't feel unsafe, not in that area, obviously, like I wouldn't go anywhere, you know, you have to do your research before you visit a city, um, but that's fine, you know. So I forgot that Miraflores is not just a mall, right next to it there's a museum. And I think it's like a Mayan art museum. Buenas tardes. ¿Es gratis la, la entrance o...? Es... Tiene un costo mm. para persona. Tiene un costo. Mm. ¿Cuánto es? Eh, 30 quetzales. Ah, 30. Ah. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. It fits 30 quetzales. I think I'll pay actually. Let's visit. Okay, so I think that this place is dope because one of the highlights, I mean, I think the main highlight is this little hill you see behind me. Um, apparently, it's a Mayan uh, tomb. Okay. Um, yeah. Mayan. Tomb. Tomba in Espanol. Uh, we'll check it out after. Yeah, let's start with level two. I want to keep the best, what I think should be the best, the Mayan sepulcher uh, for after. So where should this one go, for example? Yeah. Bring your kids here, I guess. Ah, okay. The Lake Miraflores. So here, there used to be a lake. 
no idea because to me it was I came here twice before and it's only just a big mall like you go there if you have a shopping to do and um, like it's interesting that there's such like a big um, archaeology big history here so these are made with uh, volcanic rocks uh, which makes sense like the soil in Guatemala is very volcanic uh, we make a lot of stuff from, from the volcanoes. It's very fertile as well. It's very, everything grows in Guatemala, like tomatoes, all sorts of fruits, spices, etc. So they have a very rich soil uh, in most parts, because some parts of Guatemala are actually very, uh, very dry. Like there's a desert. Uh, there's a big uh, malnutrition as well issue in Guatemala, in some parts of Guatemala, but um, it makes sense that a lot of stuff, they would make a lot of these things, weird shapes, uh, but with uh, volcanic rock. The museum is gorgeous, honestly. I didn't expect it to be this uh, classy. To be honest, this is one of the coolest museums I've ever been. So, I'm surprised. I knew this was going to be interesting, because I love like discovering about ancient civilizations that's just me but um it's very cool like very modern uh, very well made oh i think we're here this is the tomb Okay, so here is the mall. The museum directly links to the, to the mall. If you want to understand, if you're interested in history, society and culture, come to the capital to learn more about Guatemala. Because Antigua is too small. Antigua is like 15 times smaller than the capital. So check it out. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna catch my chicken bus back to Antigua. And next time, I think I'll see you in Mexico where I have to go to renew my visa. I'll, I'll be going to Mexico for a few days before going back to Guatemala, uh, where I live and work. I'm a French teacher, but that I already said in previous videos. Um, that's it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in Mexico.